going to show you how to attach rickrack to an item. Uh, rickrack is a trim, and I have seen it on a lot of different children's clothing items. Sometimes you'll see it on uh, more um, whimsical adult clothing items, but uh, what I see a lot is rickrack on things like children's uh, children's shirts, like the bottom of the hem or maybe uh, jeans for children that go around the bottom of the, the foot hole for the jean. Um, today I'm gonna attach rickrack to a cloth diaper that later I will embroider um, to be used as a burp cloth for a baby. Um, you can see I have an assortment of different colors of rickrack. It comes in all kinds of colors, and um, this particular rickrack is um, about half an inch wide, but you can get it much wider. I think that I purchased some not too long ago that was that was a whole inch wide, and so that was nice um, to do on a bigger item. Um, the things that you'll need um, in order to attach the rickrack, or first off, you need the rickrack. You need the item that you're gonna attach it to, your sewing machine, coordinating thread, scissors, a lighter, and straight pins. The most obvious question you may have so far is why do you need a lighter? Well, I use a lighter as my method to uh, prevent fraying on the, uh, on the nylon um, rick rack. The, the nylon in itself uh, is obviously, it, it, it's very meltable, and so this is a very good method um, of securing um, the, the fibers so that they will not fray. Um, please note that if, um, if a child is doing this project, adult supervision is required. Um, this is fire, and it will burn you, so be careful. Um, you have an example here of an edge that has already been um, been secured and singed, and you can see there's no fraying. Uh, but this one over here is looking pretty rough. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of trim it off a little bit. And then I'm going to light my lighter and then just lightly singe the edge. And that nylon kind of melts a little bit and it's never going to fray. All right, I'm going to, I'm going to insert the cloth diaper or uh, my burp cloth in between the, uh, the plate, the foot plate and the presser foot. Lower the presser foot, take out that first pin because it's secured by the presser foot being in place. And I'm going to make a couple of stitch forward and then a couple back. And then I, I just sew in a straight line right down, right down the center of the rick rack. I've got a little, little tightness going on there. So lift, I lifted that up to kind of get loose what was ever hung up. And just keep going straight. And you see how I'm keeping this little groove that's in the that's in the presser foot. Just keep that all the way going down the center of your rick rack. This burp cloth is just going to be so cute. Taking out my pins and being consistent with sewing technique is very important. We're almost done with that row. Almost done. And then when I get to the end, I'm gonna stitch backward to secure. Inside the first row of green is secured to my burp cloth. And isn't that cute? Oh my God. And the, the underside is white, so you don't really see it on that side at all. If you turn it over, see? And then we will, we will add the purple. Gotta pin it in place. All right, so this is the finished burp cloth. 
I did not record um, my attaching the final green strip of Rick Rack um, because it was so repetitive, but I thought you would kind of get the idea of what, what I was doing. Um, this is going to make a really cute burp cloth. Please, please practice attaching Rick Rack to um, burp cloths or to children's t-shirts or to jeans, whatever you want to do. It's a really fun way to embellish things and make them more fun. Hope you have a good time with this. Thank you for watching and subscribe.